Well, this is uh, <laughs> take number three. I did the first one, which was only about 10 minutes long. And then we got cut off. It would appear that I don't have very much memory time left, which is rather bizarre seeing as... Come on, Mr. Legs. Oh, you look rather tall there. Sometimes he seems to grow and sometimes he shrinks. It's a very mystical evening. I wish this was all in one section like it's meant to be. However, it isn't now. Unless I learn how to edit them together, which maybe I could. Look, it looks like there's fires over there. Oh, Ben's having a roll. I should stop him really, because that's quite sandy, but... He's so cute, isn't he? Come on then, little one, we'll move. Um, wispy cloud is what we've got. It has actually been like, oh, I shouldn't have turned it on to me because Ben looks so cute. I'm going to not have me on very much today. Only, I was chasing crows. Can't keep turning my hand the whole time though, because that's in danger then of knocking it off. Um, so I'll keep losing my train of what I'm saying because, because that keeps getting knocked off. And also, I'm talking quite quietly because there's some children. Well, quite a, way, quite a long way from them now. There was actually some quite interesting stuff I wanted to discuss on here tonight. But now, of course, I've got the camera out and whatnot. <laughs> um, my mind's blanked from whatever it was that I was thinking of talking about, other than, like, the basic stuff. But, and I can't even remember what on earth it was that I was... Oh, there is some stuff I could rant on about, but we'll see. Um... So, I think, oh god, my hair feels frizzy. I'm just thinking where to go. I was going to walk us down to the Prince of Wales Park, which is above my house at the moment. But it's quite dark, so then I thought, well, I'll just finish off the recording, which I started here, and then, and then we'll go off on our merry way <laughs> and put the phone in pocket. So... Wait for it, I bet we'll get a decent recording done here and then someone will call me <laughs> and knock it off that way. Uh, I shouldn't even say that in jest because I might make it happen. Come on, this one, we'll keep walking then. Doesn't like it when we just stop for no reason. Um, the only reason I'm not walking back over that way is because of the children there. And, oh, this might not even end up happening. Maybe we won't do a recording today. Uh, okay, so, basically, uh, yeah, this is Saturday. Uh, yesterday I was at college and it was just like a registration type day. It turns out the course isn't going to start properly for a couple of weeks, although I do have to go in on a Wednesday of next week and also the following week. But from the sound of things, it doesn't seem as though it's going to start properly until... I just realised I've been dreaming about the place. I guess our timetable's when we go on Wednesday next time. And I've dreamt that that's already happened. <laughs> oh, funny. Anyway, funny how you can just suddenly remember a dream when it's not been there until now. I think we might walk up. There's a track going up there right towards those houses. We might go up that way for a change. Won't we, little one? So, right, okay. I'm trying to get more interesting now. Um, I'm just, th you see, I'm just thinking, am I going to, like, even bother uploading the other ones, or, or the other one, or should I just do it now? Oh, God, there's too many people out tonight. Um, maybe we won't go that way, we'll go the other way, towards the children. Yeah, we'll do that. All right, so, <laughs> maybe I should pause this until I get my head together to speak. I woke up this morning feeling as flat as anyone can possibly feel. See, yesterday when I woke up, I was amazed how distant everything felt compared to the day before. And how actually I felt alright. Um, but then when I woke up this morning, I felt about a million miles away from alright. I just felt like I was in a black cloud of... A black, black cloud of doom, that's the way to describe it. The perfect way to describe it. 
awful. And I thought to myself, oh my God, Nina, you know, obviously I expected to be really upset and everything about leaving work. Well, the horses, are, you know, it's not like leaving work, and it's leaving the horses. <clears throat> and the change of lifestyle, obviously I knew that, that was going to be hard. Hmm. Just get past these children, I think. Come on, little Ben. Good boy. Come on. Good lad. Almost there now. Good boy, his little poser. Wow. Yeah. Come on. Good lad. Come on. <coughs> Good boy. <coughs> Excuse me. That's where the sun's set, just over here. Right there. And you can still see us a little bit. I can't believe how quick it gets dark now. Um, the time here is 7.45 and it's already dark. Autumn is definitely in the air. There's definitely no denying that. So, it's going to be quite dark this, uh, this filming. I, well, I'll try and stay up on the high ground. Uh, yeah, the black cloud of doom. <laughs> anyway, so this morning I thought to myself, oh my gosh, well, today, not just this morning, I thought, what if? <laughs> not that I'm thinking the worst or anything, because <laughs> I'm not, so I don't believe, I think in a way, like, little Ben, come on, as you can see him. <laughs> um, oh God, this is painful, I'm so sorry. So, yeah, I thought to myself, I never, like, thought what would happen if I got struck by crippling depression or anything like that. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't think that was going to happen. I still don't think it's going to happen. But I've definitely realised that uh, it's going to be a factor. And, you see, I was a little bit cross yesterday because I thought if I'd have known that um, the course didn't start probably for a couple of weeks, then I wouldn't have left work until until a bit closer to it. Now, don't get me wrong, there's a part of me that's really, really pleased <laughs> that I've left because it gives me a couple of weeks to adapt. Um, the only problem is that having like time to do nothing is definitely going to mean that I'm going to have to, I'm not going to be able to escape the feelings. Uh, which is not that I want to escape them, it's just I don't want to end up depressed or anything. Um, and it also would have been great to have had two weeks extra wages, which I would have practically had if all I'd have been doing was taking off the Wednesday. So that's like two reasons why it would have been good to stay at work a bit longer. Ah, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> oh, little Ben. Wish I'd got him in then running towards me. He looked gorgeous. boy. Well, I've been writing D-Day for the departure day. Maybe I should have been putting D down for depression. <laughs> That's probably what's going to be next. I went out like, with everyone from work last night, which was nice. Um, right at the end of the night, I was like a little bit well, it was just me and uh, one of the lads, which I get on with. I've known him for quite a lot of years now. And uh, we were waiting for his dad to come pick him up. And, um, yeah, it was very hard to, to keep the tears away. <laughs> they were definitely a factor that kept coming in. Not, like, too much. Just, just rolling down my uh, cheeks a little bit. I had to... Uh, 
keep getting a grip of myself because it was really hard because I don't, you know, I can talk to him um, quite openly about, about things and everyone else had gone, so yeah, oh gosh. And also I found out last night that my boss is uh, going around bad-mouthing me um, in the racing industry, which, well, whilst on one hand it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be working in the racing industry. On the other hand, of course, it's hurtful because, uh, you know, I've worked for them now, well, I was 20, 23 years old when I started working for them. Um, and now I'm about to turn 37. So, good boy, Ben. So, of course, it's crazy that they could, like, they well, they're not, like, pro I don't know what, exactly what they're saying. I just know that they are definitely, uh, rather than just saying that I'm leaving for what I'm going off to do, they're choosing to tell people that I'm leaving because of differences between me and them. And whilst I suppose if you were going to peel back all the layers, then there is some truth in that. However, by no throw of the dice had I fallen out with them. They're choosing to try and be funny with me about issues which never even were there. Uh, not in the way which they're trying to uh, illustrate them as being more like they're playing on their own paranoias from the way that they run things and things that I could quite legitimately be going around doing but wasn't <laughs> uh, so anyway of course to find out the basic oh yeah and also people got the pool money yesterday every three months we get a share of the race winnings and um, they didn't give me any so I d really do feel like they're trying to set up a situation where I'm left with like no choice other than to fall out with them, um, which I don't want to do because, well, for two reasons. Obviously, I want to be able to go back and see my horse whenever I feel like it, um, and falling out with them would mean I couldn't do that. And not only that, I don't want to fall out with them after all these years. The way my head works, that would be like really silly. <laughs> why would you, why do you have to fall out with people? Why can't you just move on? <laughs> The relationship changes, but you don't need to fall out. Um, so I, I don't want to feel backed into a corner where, which is what they're trying to do. They're trying to back me into a situation where the only thing that I can do is fall out of them. I don't want to be set up into that situation and to take the bait and actually do that. So little Ben's got some friends which are just behind him, behind us even. <laughs> Little cutie. <laughs> ben, come on, leave him alone. Come on. Ben, come here. Don't think that I think he wants to carry on walking. Come on, Ben. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Oh dear me. Come here, Ben. Come here. Good boy. Ben doesn't want to come up to me now. He's making me look... Oh, I don't know. Silly. I don't think the man was very impressed by my camera. Good boy. Good boy. He's back. So anyway, yeah, that, I found all that out, of course, last night. Oh yeah, and of course I found out Oh, I don't know if it's still filming. Yes, it is. 